does anyone remember this kids show? It was called Candle Cove and I must have been six or seven. I never found reference to it anywhere so I think it was a local station around 1971 or 1972. I lived in Ironton at the time. I don't remember which station but I do remember it was on a weird time like 4 p.m. Mike Painter, 65, Subject Re, Kendall Cove, local kids show. It seems really familiar to me. I grew up outside of Ashland and was 9 years old in 72. Candle Cove, was it about pirates? I remembered a pirate marionette at the mouth of a cave talking to a little girl. Yes! Okay, I'm not crazy. I remember Pirate Percy. I was always kind of scared of him. He looked like he was built from parts of other dolls. Real low budget. His head was an old porcelain baby doll. It looked like an antique that didn't belong on the body. I don't remember what station this was. I don't think it was WTSF though. Sorry to resurrect this old thread, but I know exactly what you mean, Sky Shale. I think Candle Cove ran for only a couple of months in 71, not 72. I was 12 and I watched it a few times with my brother. It was channel 58, whatever that station was. My mom would let me switch to it after the news. Let me see what I can remember. It took place in Candle Cove, and it was about a little girl who imagined herself to be friends with pirates. The pirate ship was called the Laughing Stock, and Pirate Percy wasn't a very good pirate because he got scared too easily. And there was calliope music constantly playing. Don't remember the girl's name. Janice or Jade or something. I think it was Janice. Thank you, Jaren. Uh, memories flooded back when you mentioned the laughing stock in Channel 58. I remember the bow of the ship was a wooden smiling face with the lower jaw submerged. It looked like it was swallowing the sea and it had that awful Edwin voice and laugh. I especially remember how jarring it was when they switched from the wooden plastic model to the foam puppet version of the head that talked. <laughs> I remember now too. Do you remember this part, Sky Shell? You have to go inside. Oh, Mike, I got a chill reading that. Yes, I remember. That's what the ship always told Percy when there was a spooky place he had to go in, like a cave or a dark room where the treasure was. And the camera would push in on Laughingstock's face with each pause. You have to go inside. With his two eyes askew and that flopping foam jaw and the fishing line that opened and closed it. Oh, it just looked so cheap and awful. You guys remember the villain? He had a face that was just a handlebar mustache above really tall, narrow teeth. I honestly, honestly thought the villain was Pirate Percy. I was about five when the show was on. Nightmare fuel. That wasn't the villain, the puppet with the mustache. That was the villain's sidekick, Horace Horrible. He had a monocle too, but it was on top of the mustache. I used to think that meant he only had one eye. But yeah, the villain was another marionette, the skin taker. I can't believe what they let us watch back then. Jesus H. Christ, the skin taker. What kind of kid show were we watching? I honestly could not look at the screen when the skin taker showed up. He just descended out of nowhere, on his streams. Just a dirty skeleton wearing that brown top hat and cape, and his glass eyes that were too big for his skull. Christ almighty. Wasn't his top hat and cloak all sewn up crazily? Was that supposed to be children's skin? Yeah, I think so. Remember his mouth didn't open and close? His jaw just slid back and forth. I remember the little girl said, Why does your mouth move like that? And the skin taker didn't look at the girl but at the camera and said, to grind your skin. I'm so relieved that other people remember this terrible show. 
I used to have this awful memory. A bad dream I had where the opening jingle ended. The show faded in from black and all the characters were there. But the camera was just cutting to each of their faces and they were just screaming. And the puppets and marionettes were flailing spastically and just all screaming, screaming. The girl was just moaning and crying like she had been through hours of this. I woke up many times from that nightmare. I used to wet the bed when I had it. I don't think it was a dream. I remember that. I remember that was an episode. No, no, no. Not possible. There was no plot or anything. I mean, literally, just standing in place crying and screaming for the whole show. Maybe I'm manufacturing the memory because you said that, but I swear to God, I remember seeing what you described. They just screamed. Oh God, yes, the little girl, Janice, I remember seeing her shake. And the skin taker screaming through his gnashing teeth, his jaw careening so wildly I, I thought it would come off its wire hinges. I turned it off and it was the last time I watched. I ran to tell my brother and we didn't have the courage to turn it back on. I visited my mom today at the nursing home. I asked her about when I was little in the early 70s, when I was 8 or 9, and if she remembered a kid's show, Candle Cove. She said she was surprised I could remember that, and I asked why, and she said, Because I used to think it was so strange that you said, I'm gonna go watch Candle Cove now, Mom. And then you were doing the TV to static and just watch dead air for 30 minutes. You had a big imagination with your little pirate show. If you enjoyed this and would like to hear more stories like these, please subscribe to the channels listed below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Black Legion of Screaming Banshees special guest, Spades of Death. His channel is just as terrifying as ours.